Well, welcome once again, Midfield Madness. Uh, today, uh, we are going to be at Watkins Glen. It was a bit of a weird race. Our server failed right after qualifying, so that um, we had to go to restart, and we ended up with a random grid. So that's kind of fun. And um, <clears throat> uh, Watkins Glen's a great track. So let's get right to it. Let me get out of this screen here. And this, let's just start with a track walk of the random grid. Uh, I get sure I'm in this game here. There we go. So the random grid, uh, oddly enough, when the, the individual, Jeremy Arbas, who reset the server, ended up in first play in the, at pole position. As you guys may, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is kind of, crack here and there um, as you may know that when uh, you do a start like that it depends on when you uh, re-enter the server where you end up in the grid so Jeremy pole position next was uh, Mr. Shannon then Don Queen uh, Peter La France in his nice livery with uh, maple leaves all over the place then Peter David and then myself Mike Molesky in position six uh, Mr. Caston Gay in seventh, Ollie Littner in eighth, S Billy Stewart in ninth, Brian Banks in tenth, uh, Lee Ellis in eleventh, and that nice green lime green livery of Mr. Parks. Then we have Richard McKay, I believe that is, in twelfth. Uh, Richard McKay is on the left, I thought. Nope, sure, that is. <clears throat> no, Richard McKay is on the left, yes, in his Audi. Uh, Hugo Caballero in the BMW. Uh, I forgot Mr. Nifosi's first name, but he is in 15th. And Mr. Kals Kansen in the BMW in 16th. Robert Obando in uh, 17th, followed by Kevin Torrance. And one of the tenants, I'm going to do there one of these days, I'm going to get their uh, numbers right. So one of the tenants in uh, 19th place, Hupe in uh, 20th place, the other tenant in 21st, and Mr. Vizrek in uh, 22nd place. So totally random. Um, <clears throat> just get out of this now and get into a different view. Let's not do a cine cam view. There we go. Let's just get this going. So, yes, random start. Um, here we go with the start. And uh, everybody actually had a good time afterwards. They said it was kind of fun. I mean, um, I'm probably going to suggest we're going to do some uh, free races uh, with random starts um, during the week. There, anybody, everybody had kind of a lot of fun. So Let's just find the right view here for the start. <clears throat> And Midfield Madness, as you know, is the back half because uh, um, uh, Krister did a great job of the live stream and handled uh, most of the front side. So let's just get going here. Don actually uh, had pole in the uh, real quad. Right, there we go. Green, green, green. There we go. Let's see how it goes in the first corner. On Watkins Glen. There's Shannon. Oh, J Shannon got Jeremy on the first corner. Let's make sure everybody's good. Oh, lots of wide. That's a lot of traffic side by side. Nothing too much happened there. Everybody was good side by side. Lots of side by side action. There's Nafosi jumping in. Ellis. Following on with Lintner. Let's try another view here. Everybody's doing pretty good. I don't think we had any incidents at all. Here we go through the first set of chicanes. Still a lot of side-by-side -side action, but everybody does a great job. Great job, all the way to the back. So, uh, Shannon got the lead. Okay, now let's start focusing on uh, a few things at the back here. I'm going to start my favorite driver views to see you here. So 10th place is Nafosi. And there's Ellis up ahead. Looks like Ellis has got connection issues there. Lag times because there's wobbling. That was not uh, him wobbling. That was uh, lag time, I believe. And who is really close? Oh, Richard McKay. 
really close here. Oh, lots of guess you there's a little bit of a tra paint trading. Paint trading. Oh, Richard McKay. Oh, let's see. Oh, Richard ended up way at the back. Let us just back up. I know Richard had a hard time here. So let us just back up. There must have been an incident. Here we go. Let's just follow with Richard. A little bit of bumping there. Nope, that's not where he ended up uh, with the problem. Here he is in 15th place. That is Richard in the black and red uh, Audi. Ooh, he just went off slightly. He just had to break. He was surprised by the braking at some point there. And so it was not really an incident, just how he had to... Uh, he had to uh, evade. Well, here's Mr. Tennant. Let's see who's got. Oh, Kenson. Here's a little. Well, that's at the tail end. Oh, let's see here. Uh, Mr. Banks. So lots of action here at the back end. Just, just keep going through the field here until we get to a point where people are um, spread out a little bit and we can concentrate on the battles. Um, from the tail end on um, midfield madness. Mr. Banks, I'm just going to go through here and uh, the views from the cockpits. Uh, Watkins Glen, one of my favorite tracks. I just think it, there's Banks. I believe going ahead of number 11 is Ollie. So that was a pass. And ahead of Ollie, Frank is. Uh, uh, looking for Ollie here. I don't think Ollie said he had a lot of um, practice on Watkins Glen. Anyway, going back to Watkins Glen, one of my favorite tracks. I think it's like these curves are, I think, the best designed in the game. They're just so flowing. You can take them at high speed, but you got to be careful how you brake on them. Ollie is battling backs here with Banks. So we've got something good going on here. And further back, we got Vishrek on Torrance. And uh, Torrance is not very far from one of the uh, tenants. And what else? Cupe and Caballero. Cupe is in uh, Aston Martin. He's giving Richard McKay some trouble. There's a nice grouping of four here. Let's just follow this one for a while. <coughs> I know Hupe uh, works his way through the track. He was up there in qualifying also. But, uh, later on, I'm in 8th, 6th, and 8th place. Uh, he uh, ends up uh, next to me. Lots, lots of interesting action. Like I said, uh, lots of high-speed corners. Anybody who gets a great exit on a corner is always a straight to uh, uh, take advantage of your exit speed. And they these nice sweeping corners. There we go. Yupe is going to try for a move. Nope, not in this corner. And up ahead, Tennant's trying to get ahead of... Uh, is that Tennant? Ten? Oh, that wasn't Tennant. This wreck trying to get ahead. Here, let's go. Number 45, this wreck trying to get ahead on Torrance. Looks like he's going to make the move on the inside. Is he going to make it stick? Is he going to let... Yeah, and... And uh, McKay is going to try and make it at the same time. And Torrent went off on the cor curb a little bit. And I think he lost lost it there by going on the curb. Let's just go back a second here. Okay, yeah, he did lose it. Let's see. I'm going to stop it, go back a bit. And try watching it from, uh, I believe that was Torrent's point of view. Back a little bit right here and do we want to watch it what view do we want to watch it from because this was not a view that we saw okay we'll watch it from this side away we go so banks so he got on the curb bounced and then oh he hit the wall hard so that uh bounces him back quite a bit so that, that was uh, the issue there he just didn't did go off the track by very much but that wall just comes right up on him all right let's just see what's going on here and uh board here with Obano on uh, Tenant, hopefully. Again, uh, don't forget. Oh, Tenant goes wide. I just caught this one at the right time. 
is he gonna get on the inside it is tenant and now tenant's gonna have the inside track oh beautiful tracing just a little bit of a tap there no harm done so yeah he was uh obano was um ahead there but uh couldn't make it on the outside inside move but great job racing there Brian Banks is another grouping here, but, uh, which I am at the head of. And certainly, Ellis is having uh, lag problems. That's what that uh, little wobbling of his car is. And let's just see Puckness here. Ollie up ahead. He is. That's not Ollie, that's a Vano still. Trying to get him of uh, Frank and Benton. We don't have his livery, it looks like. And O'Bannon's got, definitely got some pace, so he should try. I'm not going to try it here. We just uh, lift it off a little bit. Or we're going to try and get a great exit and see if he can get it on this straight. These are my favorite corners. Just flat out. Try as little input as you can to get each and every ounce of your power. And let me switch to a different view here. Let's just see. Ooh. Ollie's right behind Robano also, Obano also. See if anybody's going to try getting it through the inner loop. No, they all respectfully back off a little bit. Nicely done. Who have we got back here? Uh, Visrek on Tenant. He's <coughs> still trying to get by. Not very far behind him is uh, Hipe. So these long corners, uh, everybody has slightly different braking points and braking methods, whether they trail brake or not. So it's very difficult to follow very closely without tapping somebody from behind. So you gotta really be careful there. Just go up ahead a little bit. There's a couple of spots here too, and yeah, these group, this grouping is still good. So uh, Bano is still trying to get by Frank. And up ahead, Ellis on Banks. Let's just keep going here. Banks on Castonguay. And right here, Peter David is trying to get ahead of me. He's getting a little far up in the ladder here, but what the heck. Banks is faster than I am, so I'm just trying to Keep steady here. It's good. Uh, looks like he's gonna get me here. Oh yeah, let him go. I didn't want to battle too much because he is a faster driver with a faster car. <clears throat> See, oh, this wreck and Frank are still at it. Let's see if what is it? What do we got for cars here? We're an Alexis and a Bentley. Bentley's got a lot of grunt on this straightaway. He just took off there. You might notice. On the Lexus, Lexus is no slouch either, and Yupe is right behind here too. Nobody's going to try too too many fast moves here, I think, on these chicanes. Oh, there's somebody went by. It looks like Ollie. Is that Ollie? No, I don't think it was. Uh, who is in yellow? Obano. Obano. Hmm. Well, we'll just stick with this one. Kind of hard to see. There's no yellow flags on the replay mode. Oh. <laughs> Lots of action. Oh, and so, oh, it's, oh, carnage, carnage, carnage. All right, let's just see what happened here. This is, this Ollie. Did I go back far enough? Did I go back yet? Uh, not yet. All right, let's just see what happened here. Overview. There's the first bump. Ollie and, uh, no, not Ollie. That is Obano, I think. Yes. So there's Obano. Let's see if I catch the carnage. Um, with not very close together. Oh, no, I did not catch it. Hold on, it's further up ahead. Let's just see here. Difficult to find. There we go, number 44. That's Frank. So Frank is in the pits. So he was involved in this. Let's just see what the hell the story was. Oh, it's a little bit further ahead of him, too. Is it Ellis? Who is in the green car? My goodness, my goodness. It's hard to see. Is it these cars? No, I don't think so. Or was I? Frank was involved somehow. 
let's just try the other. I wonder if these are. Um, I wonder if these are. Just kind of find the right guy here. Because it was a big crash. Was it Parks? Yes, it looks like it might be Parks. Was involved in part of it. Let's just see what happens here. Parks had a little bit of a slip there. Oh, it was Ollie. Let's just see if it's Ollie. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to back up here. Ollie looks like he just loses it. Let's get on board with Ollie. Uh, do we want to do an on board? No. Let's just do it from the high cam. So Ollie just looks like he, ooh, he hits the curb there. It's a little unsettled. And then when he comes around here, it gets, it's a look, got a bit of oversteer, and Ollie hits him. And then it's just carnage throughout everyone. So there was not really a racing mistake or somebody doing something uh, not too, uh, you know, something somebody doing something badly. It was just a little bit of oversteer at the wrong place. And okay, so anyway, that's what that was. It's like you they got by. Uh, Cavalero uh, <clears throat> there, just our bearings back in there. So we're on board with Cavalero, and ahead of him is uh, this wreck. And ahead of him, it looks like it is Frank, that's not Frank, but one of the tenants. So that was unfortunate. There are a lot of people involved in that mishap. Again, it's an incident, but uh, not an incident that uh, somebody caused by over aggressiveness. And. Um, a uh, bad spot so that uh, oh, let's just get ahead here and that is a pass happening with this wreck and tenant let's see if he can make it stick on the long straight here and he's going to get the inside move here for sure and is tenant going to lose another spot no he's not so this wreck uh, passed tenant and now uh, Hugo not used to Hugo being in a red car <clears throat> Hugo is the next, uh, Frank is Hugo's next victim, possibly. And Torrance is not, there goes, there goes Caballero. Caballero's passing him on the straight, and he makes that one stick, too. So Frank is losing positions here. Let's see what's going on up ahead. Banks. Looks like that other battle was the closest uh, one. Uh, these guys are pretty close again, too. That's Castel Gay, and that's me up ahead. I qualified way down in the laps, uh, way down uh, in the field in the real qualifications. I believe I was like 18th or 19th. So, but I'm holding my own in terms of uh, racing times. Not the greatest qualifier in terms of raw numbers, but uh, I pretty much, wherever I qualify, I stick to those times in the race. That seems to do me uh, a good stint. And we get along here with Keston Gay. Artur, I believe it is. And uh, Keston Gay and I were actually um, uh, side by side in qualifying, so here we end up being here again. And this looks like it is the closest battle down here. Because. No, it's not. Hugo and Torrance are another battle. Keston Gay, Banks, and I are. Like, oh, Banks got ahead of me. No, that was David got ahead of me. I'm getting my uh, Edmonton boys mixed up. <clears throat> so I'm probably holding these guys up. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, lapping here not too, too badly in the 147s, 148s, which is not terrible. But these guys can put better times in sometimes. Castel uh, Gay is right up my trunk. There's trying to get by me. Who is that up ahead? See, see uh, Peter David passed me quite a while ago, and he's not that far uh, ahead of us. Maybe a half a second. Well, I should say that. I don't know exactly how far he is. 2.8 seconds. So, in the two or three laps, he made up a second or so a lap. Looks like he's close, but that's, uh, at these speeds, that's uh, not, very, not very far. So this is, oh no, Albano and Hupe. That is not Hupe, I don't believe. That is, yes it is Hupe. <coughs> we don't have his livery either, I guess. So Albano and Hupe are um, 
close together. And Candelero has passed Torrance. And we've got wreck Abano and Yupe in the midfield here. Uh, up ahead, we have Banks, Castel Gay, and uh, me, Michael Lester. And uh, Castel Gay is trying pretty hard to get by me. Oh, I that's that. Oh, that's somebody coming out of the pits. I thought that was me. Uh, we're going through here. What is Castel Gay driving? Oh, we're both driving BMWs. And let's see if the Audi catches up to us at all. Not really, in the straights, uh, the BMWs aren't doing too bad on Watkins Glen. I still believe the BMWs have some great handling, so you can really throw it around the corners. Handles the curbs pretty well, so you usually get a pretty good exit on this, uh, these corners. I'm trying to think of which corner I have the most trouble with. I think it's uh, this corner, but the next one I just seem to hard time with my car going deep sometimes I get into trouble and uh, if I wasn't careful with the throttle I would get oversteer let's see if Gaston Gay can make some headway here really and this next corner also caused me some issues I never really got it straight uh, well on the yeah, see he catches up to me right there just seem to not be able to get back on the throttle. So I love this corner. Uh, very carefully back on the throttle because it's easy to oversteer on this one. And Castel Gay's really trying hard to get by me. Pretty much full bore through this corner, full throttle. And short braking and then let it run through the corner. Double brake there. See how we both do coming into this high speed corner at the end of the straight. Great move. Both of us did very well. I went a little wide there. Didn't get any track cuts in my own. So uh, getting a good exit here is very important. Let's see how Brian does on with the Audi. Is he catching up? Uh, just ever so slightly. Yes, he is catching up. Let's just look at this from the high view. And who is catching up to us here? That would be uh, Mr. Ellis. So now we've got a grouping of four here. And let's see how we're doing back here with uh, Hugo. And it looks like Hugo has dropped back a little bit. So we're now we are on board with this wreck on Obano and Yupe. Looks like Obano's making a move here. with the Lamborghini. You gotta love guys who drive in Lamborghinis and Ferraris on these tracks. They are hellish beasts. He's doing a great job. He's gonna work that um, steering wheel quite a lot through the corners, which means he's right on the edge. Let's see how he goes here on the um, Aston Martin. And the Clarins today. No McLarens in the grouping. Interesting. Let's see how the guys are doing up here. We are still in our battle here. Nobody can get by me. I hope I'm not holding them back. They just seem, can't seem to get by me. Let's see if this is where it happens. Because I know it does happen at some point. Something happens uh, between us. Either Caston Bay. And he went wide there. Whoa, a little bit of oversteer. And that cost him a spot. That oversteer, Brian was able to take advantage of that. So Castel Gay, just a tiny bit of oversteer on that exit, uh, cost him a position. So Brian is now going to start chasing me down. And Ellis is going to give Castel Gay a bit of a run. Castel Gay is catching up to Brian. Look at the way that BMW catches up to the Audi through those chicanes. Arthur or Arthur, but uh, certainly his last name I'm going to pronounce it like the French Canadian way. 
So Ellis has fallen a little bit behind. Yep, he has. Oh, I had a pretty good corner that time. Is, oh no, I got a little wiggle in the back. Is uh, Brian going to be able to take advantage of that? No, it's just a tiny little uh, wheel slip. And let's see what's going on back here. Obano and Hupe are still at it. Hupe is six seconds behind uh, this group. Anything going on behind here? Where is Richard? And how close is Richard to Torrance? Uh, Richard is still by himself. Torrance and Caballero are getting fairly close. Let's just stick with Obano and uh, this group here, and this group being here. <clears throat> Brian sure has improved his driving in the last year. He was, uh, we were pretty much even for a while there last year, but uh, he has improved tremendously. He's at least two seconds ahead of me in qualifying and whatnot. I've got to find out. Oh, he, oh, he's trying. He got a way better exit there from on me. A lot of momentum, but he wouldn't take advantage of it. He's going to take a peek. He's going to do something through the chicane. Not really. Oh, now we got a great big group in here. Who has caught up? Is that Yupe? Nope. That is Ellis. Is it Ellis? No, that must be a. That is a back burner. That's Ollie uh, in behind us there. So a back burner, back marker. So Ollie's got lots of pace. Just keep on here with Brian. Oh, I went wide here. I think he's going to take advantage of it. I think so. I think so. Yes, he is. I just went wide. See, I just told you that wasn't my favorite corner. So Brian is now going to disappear on the horizon, I think. And Ellis is giving Castel Gay some trouble around the outside. Is he gonna make it stick? Mm, yes, he does. He's the he is the black car. It was uh, uh, Castel Gay that was back. So nice job there, going around the. Uh, got the inside somewhere. Let's just back up and see how that uh, all transpired here. It's about way back here. So that's Castel Gay in the purple. Just went a little bit wide. And Ellis just caught up and stayed on the inside. He's got the inside track here. And now still got the inside on the next corner. And that's where he pulled ahead. And Ollie takes advantage also. Well, he's going around the outside. No, he does not. Because he doesn't want to get too involved. He's a lap down. So Banks is now ahead of me. And uh, let's see what Castel Gay is looking at. Who is that ahead of me? Just going ahead. Who is that that just passed me? 337 is Ellis. So Ellis gets by me also. Because I believe you were with me. Yes, we are. And who is behind there? That's Ollie behind the 304. So these guys are all quicker than me. I take a little bit of a run here at Ellis. No, it takes off on me now. Uh, yeah, these guys are all quicker than me in general. Okay, so let's, that's, they're all going to catch. They're all going to uh, put some space between uh, between us now. So now we've got, what have we got? Four battles. Whoa! <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on there. Everybody went through that chicane a little wildly. So Bano above ahead. So this is now this is the best battle. And this wreck is desperately gonna try and get by a battle with Alexis on the Lamborghini. And let's just see who that is up ahead of Abano. Is that Yupe? Yes it is. So Yupe is on Castel Gay, and ahead of him is Ollie, who's trying to get by me. So let's just go back here. This Rick. He is working that steering wheel hard. Oh, that, that was Yupe went wide. Let's just see if 
Obano can take advantage of it, not really. At some point, uh, Hupe gets by uh, Arthur because uh, he ends up uh, close to me. But Rock over the act here. Rock 13. <clears throat> So yeah, these uh, random. Whoa! Castonge went wide, so he is gonna have a hard time staying ahead oh, through this long straight. Lupe should be able to take take him here, and I don't know if he's gonna make it all the way. Doesn't quite have enough, but Obano. Obano had better pace coming out of that uh, corner than uh, Yupe did. And Vishrek's not far behind in the Alexis. Let's just see who does what to whom here. And Yupe and Obano, or Gaston Gay. Gaston Gay is a little rattled, it looks like. He's going wide a uh, number of times here. Is, oh, nice corner. Oh, let's go back and watch this. That was a nice. He just outbraked Arthur there. Let's just see. Yeah, let's try a different view if we can follow it. Let's just try that view. He just comes out and takes a late break and just dives on the inside. And so is the next guy, 187. That is Obano also. Gets the inside track on Gaston Gay. And, oh, the two of them come together. The two of them come together. Oh, that's going to cause a bit of a trouble. Let's go to a bigger view. The two of them come together. I think Gaston Gay ends up spinning. Yes, he doesn't spin, but he lost another position there. Oh, well, a little bit of a racing incident. So, Hupe now has... Uh, going to start tracking me down. There I am up ahead. So Yupe has worked his way through the field. Now I'm not remembering where he ended up starting or whether he had an incident that uh, caused him to go way back in the field. But uh, he has worked his way up the ladder quite a bit. So now Obano, this track is this grouping of four. There's quite a bit of space between them. Gonna tighten up quite soon. And who else we have? Okay. And Torrance are uh, pretty close together here at the back on the pack. Now McKay was involved in some incidents. I don't know. Yeah, look at his hood. Yeah, he's uh, he's lost lots of arrow. That's why he's not gonna make up too much time, I don't think. He's just uh, uh, surviving as well as he can. So Let's see our grouping here of four with me at the top of that pack. And Hupe has got very close to me now. As I told you, what's going to happen? This has got lots of pace in that uh, Aston Martin. So we'll just follow along here because uh, I'm the one leading this little pack of four. Watch uh, Ellis and Banks here too a little bit. Anyway, let's just follow here because the guys behind are uh, they're not that far behind. Yep, the grouping is still pretty tight. Uh, uh, foreshadow here because they know what happened to me, so I'm going to follow this one along. <coughs> I was fairly calm and collected, even though I knew these guys were... Oh, look at... Uh, Obama's not that far behind Hupe. I was hoping that these two would uh, battle it out and lose a little bit of pace because of their battles, but they did not. Uh, Obama's all over him, isn't he? Yeah, he had got a great... He got a great exit on that. He really got some draft. But, uh, 
no place to pass here. Didn't need to let off that much. Yute's got a lot of pace, so he could have uh, stayed on his trunk, probably. But it's pretty unnerving going through that uh, chicane. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a spa moment. You're just hanging on for dear life there. You know you can make it fairly quickly, but it's, uh, the car's bouncing all over the place. Let's just see how far this wreck is gone. Oh, he's not far behind either. He's putting pressure on Urbano. So all these guys are putting pressure on each other. So one little mistake from anybody is causing uh, going to cause a problem. And I was pretty proud of myself. I didn't really make any mistakes. So I'm learning a little bit more of racecraft than I've had last year. I would have been sweating bullets. Oh, there was a bit of a wheel slip from uh, Hupe. Recovered. <clears throat> yeah, a couple of years ago, that would have been, uh, I would have made a mistake and a half or, and uh, ruined my race just because I was nervous. And whatnot. But uh, now I just stick to my lines. And see what happens. And again, my pace was probably about a half a second off from these guys. A second off, but that doesn't mean uh, too much. And here we go. This Rex is going to take a move here. It's going to make a move on the inside or not. Give it a good look. There we go. Let's just watch from some other angles here. Some nice speed shots. Some great angles. Mm, shows the liveries up really nicely. Who am I following here? I'm following the last guy. I should follow Obano so you can see all three. Or maybe actually Lupe. Lupe's got a few scratches there, isn't he? And around the corner. This is a nice view. Shrek's really taking looks back there. My light, my tail lights look like they're on all the time. Okay, oh, Yupe's getting uh, getting anxious here. He's had enough of following me. He'll start taking a lot of looks around the corner. Oh, and he touches me in the back corner. Oh, ho. I'm uh, never. I did a review, and I am not sure whether I. I held on to my brake a little longer than normal um, in terms of trail braking, so that might have been my fault. But I know that uh, Yupe was pretty uh, upset that he hit me and ruined, not ruined my race, but I, I didn't get too much damage. But he must have gotten a fair amount of damage because he ends up uh, uh, retiring. Of course, this, this race was uh, kind of just for fun anyway. But anyway, I wasn't upset. Uh, like I said, I think I may have caused that one. Uh, um, I can't think of his first name, Robert, I think. So, let us see who we are going to follow here. Uh, where are our battle's going to be. This one here is one. Ellis on Banks is another one. Oh, there we go. Here's a nice battle. A Lamborghini on a an Audi O, but Banks is or uh, Ellis has got definite lag issues. Here. Look how much his car is kind of pop, bopping and popping. Headache here. I'm watching this, let's just see how, how it goes. Brian is doing really well in that uh, Audi. This wreck and Obano, they're going to be still battling on. So this looks like our two, um, our two battles. I think uh, I won't go up there to La France and uh, Jeremy because I believe uh, that was fairly well covered by. Uh, it may actually, that may not have been covered. Uh, I may have been following the first two. Let's just jump in here for a second or two with Jeremy and uh, Mr. La France. Eye those other ones to see how close they get. Jeremy's not very far behind uh, Aaron Shannon either. So this is a bit of battle, not really in the midfield, but I don't think it was covered uh, uh, 
too much because he was so concerned. Like the top three there, the podium was such an exciting race. We got too much air time on this battle here. I'll just follow it for a bit. Flip back and forth. Looks like Vishrek and Urbana are still at it. I'll just flip back and forth here. Again, uh, oh, looks like Sharon went wide there. Is Jeremy going to be able to take advantage of it? He has got some. He came up and closed that gap quite a bit on that problem. And looks like. Jeremy, when he was battling ahead, looks like La France is going to try and take advantage of Jeremy battling with that one, and he just could, just could not quite make it stick. But he has got lots of pace, lots of pace. This is quite the battle. Just stay, stick with this one for now. Although Shrek and Urbana were quite close together too on the section times, at least. Let's just watch what happens through this corner. And the next corner, and then we will jump over to that other battle. France is trying everything. Oh, he's got, he's got a good exit. Let's just see. Is he going to make it stick? I think he's still behind. I don't know. I think Jeremy's still ahead. All right. Well, let's just go to Vishrek and Obano. See what happens here. Oh, something happened here. Where is Vishrek? Compared to Obano, oh, there we go. Too, too far apart. Looks like this like he was behind Obano, so um, that one was uh, he made, made a little mistake. And here we are with Ellis and Banks. They are still battling. And La France and well, this, these three basically are still going at it. Oh, lots of just look, looked away for a second here. Holy smokes! is quite something. I'm watching it from this point of view. I'll just try and maybe do a chase view here for a second or two. Maybe it's not a real uh, auto sport view. But La France is just desperately trying to get ahead of Jeremy. And Jeremy in his usual cool fashion is just hanging in there. He is more concerned with his own battle. And how is Ellis doing? He's still in that lag machine. And how is... Vishrek on Urbano. Vishrek is caught up to uh, Urbano. This is a definite midfield battle here. Looks like uh, Urbano is up. He lost a couple of seconds there from the last uh, section time, so... Oh, he's, 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 he's a little rattled here. He's going uh, a little bit rattled. So Vishrek is going to take advantage of it. He sees that as well as we do. He's saying to himself, this is my chance. We are at least two-thirds of the way into the race here. Oh, we're on the last 20% of the race, I think. So everybody's getting a little excited here. Probably only 15 minutes or so left in the race. And Ellis on banks. La France on Autobus. Oh, something happened there. La France fell behind and Jeremy's making a pit, making a move on the grass almost. Ooh, going through the chicane. And Jeremy went through the grass on one side. <laughs> he tried for... And there goes... La France goes through the grass. Is he going to get lose position? Oh, and who's that behind it? That Peter David? Who is... Yes, it is Peter David. He passed... Oh, yes, Peter David, where did he come from? He, I wonder if he's a... No, he's not a lap down. Peter David, uh, because LaFrance went off, he passed... Uh, he passed uh, Peter. And now Peter is going to try to move on him here on the inside. Is he going to be able to make that stick? They are nose to nose. And LaFrance is losing ground. But he's got the inside track. Don't touch each other. No, thank you very much. But La France is still on the inside. And he's going to make... Oh, now David's on the inside. Oh, great side-by-side -side racing. Look at this. La France and David still got it. And it looks like... La France... He... I forgot if he started off behind in this one, but he they definitely both had chances there. Jeremy's fallen back slightly. 
Let's see, this wreck. Ooh, they got a yellow flag somewhere. And who else here? McKay is actually pulling up uh, his socks and has made a ground past Torrance. Even though he's got a wiggly wobbly hood, he is uh, right behind Caballero. Caballero. So this is definitely a midfield battle. McKay was in the top five or six uh, qualifiers, so he had pace. And again, look at that, he's using ground uh, on the straights because of his aero damage. And uh, the levels are not very far behind Castel Gay. So I don't think uh, McKay, let's just see if McKay is able to make up some time on the straight, even though he's got aero damage. Not making up ground, if you make losing slightly. And David on La France. Jeremy is still battling with Aaron. For sure, that is being covered in the, the mainstream. So let us just stay. Who has got the closest battle here? Oh, uh, Ellison Banks. Everybody's spread out slightly here. Vistrek on a battle. Oh, Vistrek's a little bit closer than he was. That is probably the closest one. <clears throat> and this one's been going on for quite some time, Vistrek on a battle. And I believe that is the closest one, except for probably uh, okay. Have a hard time catching this thing today. So there's a couple of seconds behind at the last. Yeah, he's going to have a hard time catching up with his arrow damage. But this wreck in Obano is definitely a battle. And uh, is, that, is that Alice up ahead? I'm going to take a peek. No, that is not. Oh, that's not the right place to do that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Lexus on a Lamborghini. I'm going to take another quick peek. See, that is ahead of Ravana. That is Ellis. So that is uh, going to be for position two that uh, Ravana is looking at. So if he catches up to Ellis. And here it looks like. Looks like uh, McKay got by Hugo. Take a peek at what happened there. We'll go back to that one. That was a long time. Ago. Okay, I won't, uh, I won't belabor that one. Let's go back to our other battle here. This track. <clears throat> Where we were. Somehow McKay got by. Oh, he was. He was always ahead of Cavalier. What am I talking about? He's chasing down Castel Gay. But uh, Castellan is quite far ahead now. Nine seconds ahead. No, two seconds ahead. I got excited there. I thought uh, McKay had to jump to another position. This wreck is really, really catching up to Urbano. Just look at the way Mr. Vishrek works that steering wheel. Just right on the edge all the time. the battle of the midfield right now there's only a little lap and a half to go and this is when everybody gets a little excited they see that um, they see that uh, they don't have much time oh took a little peek there there we go in the last couple of turns before the straight the Lexus can make some time up on the Lamborghini on the corner here and then on the long street. First part of the street. We have a better exit. We're pretty much the same. We've got the same gap. This is the important one. I'm going to get a couple more times through this segment. Oh, he got some time back there. 
looks like he's going to take a, a peek. Goes around on the outside, now back on the inside. He's going to be drafting him for quite a while. And he's got to really have to try to get ahead before the chicane. Wow, look at that, right on his tail. Is he going to make a move here? No, he's going to just respect the chicane and the driver. Nice, nicely done. Too bad he just qu didn't quite make it. Didn't quite have enough. But good job in terms of patience. Good job in terms of patience. That could have been a disaster. Good job, Mr. Bizrek. I'm sorry, I don't remember your first name at the moment. All right, let's see what else is going on. Everybody else, Banks and... Banks. I'm going to get a segment update here in a second. So this is going to be the battle to the end. Looks like we've got the fireworks. So this is the last lap. Let's see if Vistrek is going to make a final move here. He's working very hard. He knows this is the last corner. He's going to work it very hard. See if he can get make uh, Urbano make a mistake. But the Roberto has got nerves of steel by this time. He's trying both sides now. Right up against his tail. Let's see if he's going to make it the stick. No, this, there's the end. There should be a checkered flag. Nice job, both of them. That could have been a disaster on the... Uh, that could have been a disaster on the... I'm just going to look through here to see if there's any good... Any good uh, battles before the uh, end. There's another checkered flag. There's Mr. Torrance coming up with his checkered flag. There I am, just getting a little bit further behind for my checkered flag. And Mr. Tennant is way back here. Ollie is stopped, he must be finished. Anyway, that's the end of that race. It was a kind of a fun race, wasn't it? With this uh, reverse grid. Um, let's hope we'll try doing that again. Maybe uh, when we when we do one of our uh, weekly races, we could try a reverse grid like that. No, reverse, it wasn't a reverse grid, it was a random grid. Just try a random grid and uh, it'd be fun to announce that one. So that was Midfield Madness uh, for you guys. Let's, um, we'll see you on track next week and maybe we'll do another Midfield Madness for Group 2 again. Thank you very much if you have listened to the whole thing and we'll see you again at Silverstone.